So I'm guessing this colder here. Oh no! Oh. Am I throwing the wrong thing? I wonder if them barking says that people don't fish here very much. Oh, maybe. Yeah, otherwise they'd be pretty good. Tell me. Is that an English setter, I think. That's a beautiful big house up there. Okay. Man, I got your load up and everything. I mean, it could have been a little stick mouth bass over there, but it sure did not feel like it. How's the finder look? Are we getting anything? There's so much junk in the water. All I'll see on this one is just like yeah, stuff just going by. All right. That fish tried to catch us off guard there. That fish is probably like, it's cold out here, man. Get him back in. Hey. First one of the day. See that? Wacky rig Cinco. That water's 64, so I'm guessing this colder here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where did that happen? <laughs> Technical difficulties there. Are you okay? I think he's good. All right. He's fine. He's slightly concussed. He's in concussion protocol. Okay, there we go. All right. That fish tried to catch us off guard there. That fish is probably like, it's cold out here. <laughs> First one of the day. Got on a little wacky rig Cinco. That water's 64, so I'm guessing it's cold. Oh. It's all right. Oh, no. Boy, I did that out too. A little bit bigger. I barely got him hooked. I don't know. That might be. I don't think it's the same fish because the other one's in concussion protocol. But he's similar size. Oh, I hope I didn't. I didn't blow up you, did I? No, you're good. I got it in spotlight, so we shouldn't move too much. I don't think I can legally fly the drone here. But I'm just looking at the water color. Have you noticed, like, the water coming down this bank is a different color than that water? But if you could get up high, you could see it. Yeah, there's a mud line. I wonder if that's what they're really sitting in. It's a mud line, not the grass. And I just cast out when you said that. There's another one. Let's go start tearing them up now. It's a little bit bigger. I don't know. That might be. I don't think it's the same fish because the other one's in concussion protocol. But he's similar size. So I think something I do wrong, and I'm recording when I say this so YouTube can hear. I think this is not the way you're supposed to do it. Is I cast out there kind of like just in the middle of the activity. Like fish jump there, fish jump there. I have a tendency to be like, oh gosh, and I reel in and I throw to where they just jumped. But I don't, I don't know. I never catch fish doing that. And thinking about it, I'm like, just where they were may not be where they yeah. were going. Case in point. I about ripped his head off. He's tiny. But something I will say is like, he's a baby, baby. One of the reasons I think I missed some fish on Cinco is I use a big hook. 
I use the EWG hook so that way I can quickly switch it out to Texas rig and throw like over that grass or in that grass without getting hung up. But I think that may also, you know, lead to less hookups. Well, whatever you're doing working, you got three in the boat and I've got two hits and none in the boat. Well, I didn't have my camera on when I said it the first time, but I've never caught fish here. Like, it looks so good. There's two different kinds of rocks. There's grass. There's current from two different rivers. And all I've ever caught here is disappointment. Oh, man, there's some right there. I'm near it. I'm near it. See him chimp chasing up there? Oh, shit. I went over you. You're fine. Orange. <laughs> you know, I may be catching them not because of the lure, but because you know Tennessee's playing the day, and this is orange rod with orange line on it. Maybe that's it. You, know, you were talking about the. I saw your video where this hundred dollar. <laughs> oh. I don't know if I have the hook very good. I was reeling it in with Brady for my next cast. Same size. I mean, we caught, I caught one that was tiny, two, three that are ex almost the exact same size. This is a $68 Walmart rod with a, I think this is in a clearance rack, 99 cents for a pack of like the Yum Cinco's. And this is a hook the title the paint knocked off of it. I say that because people always say, like, well, if I only got $100 to spend on a rod, you don't have to spend a hundred dollars in a rod. If you can find the fish, you can throw 99 cent stuff and catch them. Oh, now that, that's the one I want. That's Maybe that's it. Hey, you were talking about the, I saw your video where this hundred dollars. Oh, that was very good. I was doing it in, I was praying for my next cast. Same size. We caught, I got one that was tiny. Two, three that was almost the exact same size. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh. Decent one too. What is that on the Ned? Ned? Of course it's on the Ned. Yeah. You gonna grab them for you? You got it. Not too bad. That's a keeper size right there. Dummy. <laughs> I'm getting you off camera because I keep turning around. There's fish jumping everywhere. Well, wonder what I was. Uh, I will say. I wonder what that is. Oh, you got on him. But got a fish today. That's a decent. That's a 13, 14 inch fish. Not bad. We're on the board. We're still behind Scruffy here. <laughs> you got the, the bigger fish there. Yeah, we got the bigger one. You got the corner. That was like a, when I went out my last video. I caught three and my wife caught one, but hers was... She caught a good fish. I saw that. All mine combined. I was like, well, we'll give her the win on that one. I'm telling you, my wife is so detail oriented and good at like everything she tries i'm kind of glad that she doesn't fish because it would be <laughs> it would not be good for me she'll hang the hammock up and read oh you got one another one i think i'm recording Boy, he's, he's not that's a, a baby yeah Is that a small mouth oh, that's a smallie yeah yep yeah. let's see if he's got a oh, put us on a Got a big large and a little pickle. We'll take it. I'm interested to see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> we kept him from the boat. See we if he was swimming with it for a while. Because I was kind of watching. All of a sudden you were just like, oh, there's a fish on there. Yeah. 
I have to say, I feel good if you caught a couple because last couple times I've taken people fishing, like the first time they've gone fishing with me, we haven't caught anything. And I'm yeah. like, look, I promise, I usually catch fish. I think that's how uh, hardcore fishermen, if you catch some, you've got to catch more. And if you catch none, then you've got to catch one. You know, it's... Yeah. So we have the last cast rule. If we're like out of the family. I throw my last cast. If I catch a fish, I get to throw another cast. If you catch one? If I catch fish, I'm allowed to throw another cast. Okay. It's happened a few times. My ratio is not great. I'll put it that way. But <laughs> I'm just glad I caught a couple of fish. Cause man, it'd be a uh... Embarrassing. Be kind of a terrible video. It'd be like, well, yeah, it's like we finally got the stash and bass in Scruffy City out, and then stash and bass gets come. It's funny. It's like yesterday. I didn't plan on going fishing. We tried to go fishing for a long time now, and it's those random spur of the moment, like, hey, can we go fish tomorrow? And it just works out. Yeah. So maybe it was meant to be. You normally don't have to threaten me. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to beat this weather too. I mean, it's like I know it's cold when we're running. I'm about to take his hoodie off. Uh, I know it's cold when we're running, but it feels amazing right now. Yeah. Ooh, that's a better fish. I think if I'm reading the, uh, it's, it's small. I was trying to read the way your rod was moving with its its tail, you know. Yeah. May need to switch back over to the Ned. Man, he uh he swallowed that thing. You need some pliers? Uh no, I got a Okay. So I got some laying right here. This might be the right amount of current. I know it's good for fishing, like you know, handling the trolling motor. Because it's just kind of moving us at the rate that I would probably want to fish anyways. Yeah. But it may also be what what the fish want. Man, I might have to go in through the gill. There it is. Now we gotta navigate out, buddy, without trying to hook it again. I am uh, really big on taking care of the fish. Me too. I've had to let a fish go with hook in its mouth, and I, I went home for the day, and I was like, oh, gosh. Yeah. I killed a fish. Yeah, I feel terrible when that happens. Ned Rig is really bad about it, and I think it's because they can suck it so far down before you know they've got it. Oh, take care of it. and Bass Animal Hospital back there. There we go, look, unharmed. No blood from the gills either. No blood from the gills. He's gonna go out and get bigger and he's gonna be my first six pounder I catch out here, buddy. I hope so. We'll see you, buddy. That or he'll learn how to walk on land and come get you. <laughs> I'm okay with that, too. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what's probably frowned upon and copycat, yeah. throw the net hey, out there. Copy. Copy. I'm gonna start right in that big hunk of grass right there, too, because that's what I was going for. You ever been fishing like that, catch three or four fish, and then look down, and you weren't recording? Okay, so I took my mom out um, two weeks ago. One of the best fishing trips I ever had. Not, not because I caught fish or anything, but I don't know. Being out there with my mom was really special. Yeah. And um, she outfished me. <laughs> man, she outfished me. And she caught the biggest of the day. She caught the most of the day. Oh, yeah. That's, oh. oh, that was a good one. Come back. Now I'm watching your line intently, like, come on, fish. Dang. Man, he's been um, She was so good, man. She caught, uh, it was a 66 kilogram, because that's what my stupid scale is. <laughs> so it was a, a pound and a half. I was about to ask Siri, like, what the yeah. <laughs> conversion on that is. Yeah, so it was a pound and a half. And, uh, man, it was just with the smile on her face and the excitement. And it was just, it was the best catch that I've been a part of. And I wasn't. Something's just meant for the memory, I guess. It just it broke my heart. She didn't care. She was like, oh, that's fine. And I'm like, you just don't understand how not okay it is. I think back to me and my dad, you know, this is how long I've been fishing, is we would go out and we had a Polaroid camera, you know? 
Yeah. And sometimes we remembered it and sometimes we didn't. And I remember catching just like so many big fish that we have no record of. Yeah. But there for a while, every time we took the camera, we didn't catch anything. We were like, I think the camera is bad luck. <laughs> and now I'll take, you know, get my phone and GoPro. Okay, okay. That's number five. Calm down. Got this one on the Yig. I don't poke on you in the eye with a weed guard. That's why it wasn't coming out. I'm sorry. Here we go. I, yeah, that's on. This is another one of those. Uh, it's an itsy bitty bug, bitty bug, whatever. The Walmart, you know, cheap jig. And then I've got a Z Man. Algamite? Or is that what they're called? I don't know. This is the uh, Z Man. Hog, I think, like maybe baby hog or something on there. I've never once fished them just like a neg. I've always fished them as a trailer and done pretty good with it. The only reason I'm throwing the jig instead of the net head, I was like, well, if you're throwing almost the same thing. I'm gonna try this and see catch anything, and hey, it worked out. Not often does that happen. That's one thing. It's like when I go fish with my dad, which has been more rare lately. But he's a really good fisherman, and he's got good instincts about what to throw. But we'll always make sure we're throwing something different until we've really got him patterned out, and then we're like, okay, he's throwing a crankbait. I'll be throwing a Texas rig. Bro, that's well, it is that time we have thrown our last cast. All together, we got eight i believe i'll take it off here so uh i haven't mentioned it in this video i don't think actually but i hear with stash and bass today having a blast uh he caught what do you think is about 13 14 inch fish yeah something like that Pretty a little bit size. bigger than the ones yeah. that i caught you know I'll, I'll admit that now i may not have at the time anyways <laughs> uh we caught them all pretty much your typical like we we're talking about this earlier ned rig for some reason the fish just can't figure it out i don't know why Looks like a little tootsie roll coming down or something, but uh, most of them came on Ned Rig, Cinco's. You'll see in the video, caught one on a jig because that's just how I have to do. I have to catch one fish on a jig. But uh, be sure to check out his channel. I will link it below. And uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, what else? You're supposed to click the bell, uh, click on the links, send me twenty dollars. All uh, the stuff. Tacos. We like tacos. Tacos are good. Yeah, so, tacos. so yeah, we're gonna head back to the ramp. But thanks for watching.